Thanks for joining us tonight. Tell everybody, I'm Bob Clausen. A new trend on social media has students defacing school property. Maybe you've heard of it. It's now becoming yet another problem for Central Arkansas School. BB Middle School is the latest of several Arkansas schools that say they've had problems with the destruction of school bathrooms in the last week alone. Jessica Rank joining us in the studio now with more on how the district is planning to handle this. And any idea who these kids are? They will track them down. Yeah, Bob, well, at first, school administrators say it was just a few instances of paper towels on the floor or drinks sprayed on walls. But now the pranks have gotten much worse, and the school says it's time to crack down and put this trend to rest. The students are gone for the weekend, and few cars remain in the parking lot. But on the other side of the doors to BB Middle School, administrators are hard at work. We were hoping that maybe it wouldn't make its way down here to the middle school, but unfortunately it has. The latest trend on TikTok has students vandalizing school bathrooms. We've already seen it in Jacksonville and Cabot. Now, BB. They're definitely seeing those things or they're hearing them on the buses. Staff says the pranks started out small. And then it sort of took off. We've seen toilet seats removed. We've seen uh, hand sanitizer, soap dispensers removed. The principal says sinks and even security lights were destroyed, all within the last week, making a mess for custodians and putting pressure on teachers. They can't just send students to the bathroom now. The school is now keeping track of students' walks in the halls. And if they're not back in time or taking too many breaks. Red flag. The school says it hopes parents will talk to their students. You should have pride in your school and we want it to be a nice place. So when the parking lot fills again, the students can focus more on studies and less on the latest trend. Now, BB Middle School says it will continue to crack down on their checkout system, and if that doesn't work, it says it will consider class-wide bathroom breaks. Live in studio, I'm Jessica Rank for KRK4 News.